<laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to Chris for his kind words. And more importantly, for giving me his daughter's hand in marriage. Yay! On behalf of my wife and I, <laughs> thank you all for joining us today to celebrate our marriage. It's lovely to see so many of our family and friends here to help celebrate the happiest day of our lives. I know that some of you have travelled a long way to be here today. Many of you from Ireland, America, and even as far as Qatar and Singapore. And this really means a lot to us. It would not be the same without you all here. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are some people close to our hearts who could not be here with us today. Um, I know they would have enjoyed it immensely. Our thoughts are with them, and we know that their thoughts are with us. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses to absent and lost family and friends. <laughs> Sinead, I want to thank two very good friends who are both here with us this evening. The first person is Cherry. Where is yes. Cherry? <laughs> Jerry, thank you so much for creating this truly wonderful wedding cake. Amazing. We were totally taken aback when we saw it, and I'm sure everyone will agree it looks stunning. <laughs> the second person is Anne Smitherum. Where is, where is Anne? Let's see her down the back. Anne, you've been incredible. <coughs> I'm sure everyone will agree that the flowers look stunning and we know how much work you've put into them. Yeah. So thank you for your time. We would like to extend an, a, a gift to both of you for all the hard work you've put in, which Sinead... Two will, ladies, come up, please. <laughs> to say a personal thank you to my ushers. Uh, there's an unwritten rule of wedding etiquette which states that nobody should be more handsome than the groom. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to thank David, Paul, Kieran, and Alan for sticking to this room. <laughs> Someone once referred to me that being a best man is a bit like snogging the queen. <laughs> it's an honour, but nobody wants to do it. <laughs> I am very pleased that my two best men, Dara and Alan, both agreed. <laughs> Dara, you've been one of my oldest friends and have been a great support. Alan, you're the best, best big bro when you're on that. <laughs> I'm not going to say any more nice words about these guys because they're not so nice. Ammo. Apart from my wife, there are four other beautiful ladies here today. Our bridesmaids. Woo! Rosie, Caroline, Sarah, and Laura, you all look stunning. 
I would like to personally thank you for all the effort you put in with Sinead up to and including today. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's how much support you've given her, and it really means the world to her. On behalf of Sinead and I, I we would now like to thank our parents, as we wouldn't be where we are today. If it wasn't <laughs> to my parents, a special thank you for all your love and support over the years. You've always been there when I've needed you and got me through thick and thin. I'm extremely lucky to have such wonderful parents. Yay. You've both taught me so much and have always encouraged me to make the most of every opportunity. It must be very hard to come to terms that you've raised such a perfect son. <laughs> to Chris and Fiona. Today has been perfect, and this is all down to you both. Fiona, you have worked tirelessly and created yet another masterpiece. Yeah. 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 Chris, I can't thank you enough for all your support, and I'm sure you will be pleased to find out that I've heard Fiona's MasterCard has now expired. <laughs> Traditionally, I'm supposed to thank you both at this point for welcoming me into your family, but it seems strange for me to do that today, as you've both make me, made me feel like part of it for many, many years now. I genuinely could not have asked for nicer in-laws, and thank you for bringing up Sinead to become the woman that I've married today. I love Sinead with all of my heart and will do everything I can to continue to make her happy. Aww. So ladies and gentlemen, let's raise our glasses to Chris and Fiona and Martina and Harry. And that leads me to my beautiful new wife. Shh. What's the funny Siobhan? <laughs> Sinead, you always look beautiful, but I don't think I've ever seen you look more gorgeous. Woo! When I saw you walk into the church, you took my breath away, and I'm just so proud to stand here next to you. of effort into making stay perfect and I think you all agree that she has done that and more. Yeah. Yeah. I've said thank you a few times already <laughs> but so far I haven't thanked the one person in all this who deserves the most. <sighs> Sorry about that. So Sinead, thank you for agreeing to go out with me. Oh. Thank you for saying yes. You're going to get all cried. And thank you for becoming my wife today. Oh. I'm going to make sure you don't ever regret any of those decisions. Oh. I'm so happy to be facing the future with you as my wife. Oh. 